Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how can we work with LLMs, large language models in Rust. I expect you guys to know about LLMs, large language models since we are living in 2024 and LLMs is one of the most common word or buzzword used around the tech industry or even non-tech industry as well nowadays for text generation, image generation and all those different uh, use cases that we have for LLMs. In this video, we'll be using pre-trained LLM models for text generation, image generation, OCR where we extract text from image, audio transcription and we'll also know how can we run on both CPU and GPU. So let's begin. One of the reason for me to create this video is I plan to use lots of intelligence in our Rust project in future videos. I have noticed not everyone watching my videos will have a premium membership to OpenAI so we can just you know use OpenAI in our projects and it's also kind of costly uh, to use OpenAI for personal projects where you want to play around and you know check multiple use cases try out different things but everyone that's watching my videos at least has a machine now it doesn't matter if you have a powerful machine with tons of GPU or you just have a small machine with uh, CPU you can it, still run these pre-trained models yes the speed will be a bit slow but again for personal learning for projects it's always great to try out things so for that reason uh, this is this video like we'll be learning how can we you know run those pre-trained models on our machine if we have CPU or GPU and later in future videos I plan to use uh, maybe creating our own LLM servers or in different use cases because you know 2024 or onwards dummy projects are useless even for your CV for your resume so we need to add intelligence in our projects to you know make them presentable so for that reason I add this video now make sure you guys watch till the end understand and we'll be using in future as well so let's get started now there are a couple of approaches on how can you approach uh, such task of uh, running a pre-trained LLM model on your machine. Uh, one way is you can just go to the browser and search for Hugging Face and here you can find all the models, the bin files, you can just download the model, pre-trained model on your machine. Uh, the pros of this uh, approach is you can literally work with any model that you want. And the con of this approach is you have to write all the code to you know uh, load that model and uh, pass on the prompt and do the inference and everything for that the second approach is you can just use the available dependencies or SDKs in Rust uh, and everything happens as a black box for you you just have to pass the prompt now the pros of that approach is you don't need to write any code yes on the back it will also be downloading those models on your machine and you know does all the job but you don't have to write the code for that you just have to pass you on your prompt which we'll see in a minute and the con of that approach is the dependencies or SDKs just support uh, a definite uh, I would say list of models and you can only work with those but again those models are enough for our projects and use cases so for this video we'll follow the second approach where we'll be using the dependency or SDK so move to your cargo thermal file now here we'll be adding uh, the close on dependency with version as latest and features that we need is language sound and vision uh, because as I mentioned in the start we'll be using for text generation image generation and audio transcription and OCR and second one we need is Tokyo for async programming version latest features full and then we need future util and lastly we need image with 0 0.24.9 and then we'll just uh, let our project build with all the dependencies now move to main and first of all we'll be working with text generation so let's begin so let's add we'll just do pub async fn process text and we'll do model and we'll be using llama new chat 
await unwrap and then for the chat uh, we'll just do chat and builder now pass on the model and here we can you know set uh, let's say if we have an initial history we can set the history and if we have let's say uh, session going on or any constraints that we want to add we can literally add since it's a build builder so we can set everything but let's say we are setting a system prompt and uh, we, we can just say uh, the assistant will act like a doctor so we set that system prompt and again if you guys want to try out just set anything that you want and build then we'll just loop and we'll just do chat dot add message now once we are here and we are ready to tag any prompt we want user to see this kind of a display where he's asked for some input and then uh, once it's processed we want it to be displayed and we want to await and unwrap now to std out we have to load from callosum actually let's load all more easier for us so this is the basic code that we write for interacting with llama and uh, the model and as you guys can see it's pretty much simple we don't have to perform anything by our, our ourselves everything is uh, done here we have to just you know pass on the prompt and uh, when you run it for the first time obviously it will take some time since i mentioned in the start it will be you know setting up the model on your local for running and then run uh, again depends on the the performance of your system but uh, after you load it once it's pretty quick so let's let's use it and let's see how can we do the text processing or text generation so async and here we'll just do process text of it pretty simple and straightforward now open your terminal so here we'll just do cargo run quite now this will run on cpu but if you want to do on gpu then as you can see it clearly says to run on gpu build with feature metal but uh, i don't have gpu on my machine so i'll be running on cpu and as you can see we have our model loaded and it's asking us for the input as you can see so let's ask our doctor that hey i have a back pen what to do so let's ask this question So as you guys can see it pretty much does the job and it's pretty accurate as well since we are using a llama model and uh, yeah you guys can try on your machine and i'm using it on a cpu but still you guys can see it's pretty fast and it able to help me uh, out with my uh, issue so you guys can also send any prompt and check it out on your machine so let's move on from text generation to uh, ocr so for OCR we need an image uh, so we can extract the text and I'm using this OCR PNG uh, I can drop this in description if you guys need the same image but uh, you guys can use different image as well so we'll be extracting or trying to extract this text from this image so let's uh, get away from process text and we'll be using web async fn OCR and mutable model so ocr and builder uh, build await and wrap again if you want to pass on any custom uh, things you can use the builder to pass on but i'll just use uh, whatever is default setting and then our image so for that we add that image crate to open this image so that is inside our machine and so 
so we can just do LLMs and src ocr.png unwrap and then the text so model dot recognize text and ocr inference settings so new and pass the image and just to unwrap unwrap so that's the text that we get and then we simply just go ahead and print this text so text uh, or got from image so this one is for OCR uh, be it any use case let's say you have some receipts or invoices and you want to extract the text so you can use OCR model for that not just this one you can check multiple other models on hugging face and we'll be using in future as well so yep and let's move to man and now let's use OCR and we move to terminal and let's run this so here you go as you guys can see we are able to extract uh, text from our image and if we see the original text it's the same so try out different images on this model and let me know in the comments what do you think about this model and how is it performing on your machine now let's move to the next one where we'll be using audio transcription and lastly we'll go to the image gener generation so for audio either we can use mic or a file so we'll be using mic here and let's avoid the warning and let's add for uh, audio transcription let me copy it and what we can do is we'll use the whisper model again one of the renowned model in the industry for uh, audio transcription and await unwrap and we'll use mic input so default and stream as mic stream unwrap and we'll use text stream so stream dot transcribe and pass the model and text to stream dot to std out dot await dot unwrap so this prints whatever uh, we just speak on the mic so let's use it and then go ahead and test it so open your terminal now let's run this so we'll just do cargo run quiet and as soon as we run this we'll just speak out something hello 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 so here you go as you guys can see it just prints what we just spoke on the mic so you guys can try on your side and let me know uh, how it works uh, by the way just an FAA guys if you are running it on a CPU it might take longer than usual uh, depending on uh, the number of cores and everything but again it might be a bit slow since it's a audio trans transcription model so now let's move to the image generation so just close the terminal and this time we will be using audio transcription and now let's use image generation so image generation is pretty straightforward uh, pub async fn image generation and let model and builder build wait again there are multiple props that you can uh, set uh, tokenizer uh, clip weights and everything but we can just leave it as it is and then the settings so inference settings and new and here we'll pass the prompt so let's say uh, a cat or you can 
uh, pass on anything that you want to generate and we can also set the number of images so let's say a one image or two image and then we can also set width uh, we can also set uh, height so all these different things that we can try but even if you go with the uh, default settings then also you get pretty much everything set up as you can see height width by default is 1024 and prior steps if any uh, and the number of samples that you want to generate so everything that you want to set but i'll set it to default for now you guys can try out on your side and let me know in the comments how do you feel and how does it work so mutable images and we'll just do model dot uh wait we'll just do unwrap and here we'll just do model run pass on the settings and while let some image images or let's name this images next and wait and then we can just do if let some buff image dot generated image and buff dot save and here we can just pass the format so let's say uh, whatever png and image dot uh, sample number so that's how it works and we can just use here image generation to generate the image now this one i'll leave it to you guys to run on your site and let me know in the comments how does it uh, work for you on your machine but uh, as you can see we covered all the concepts like text generation we perform image generation OCR audio transcription and we also understood how can we run it on CPU and GPU so make sure you try it on your site and this is uh, one of those videos in which we have used some uh, pre-trained model that is supported with Golsum and we'll be using these a lot in future in our projects as well because as you can see it get the job done without paying anything that we have to pay to open ai or anything so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understood the concepts and enjoyed this video if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye